This next song is one that uh, has probably gotten a little more relevant to me even as time has gone on as far as how I look at things. About nine years ago, there was a story in the news that there was a Christian college in the southeastern part of the United States that had decided that the people who attend this college would sign a pledge that they, they would, uh, would not date or marry anyone of a different race. In fact, that, I think that's where Steve Taylor's uh, song, We Don't Need No Color Code, came from, the same incident. And uh, when I saw this on TV, I, you know, this Yahoo is like waving a Bible around and then talking like a racist, it, it ticked me off. And um, it, it, it made me lament and, and grieve over all the things that, that, that get made part of the gospel that aren't part of it. Not only just wrong-headed things, but other things as well. You know, um, it's some people have a lot of trouble with this, but you know, there are real sincere Christians who disagree about a lot of stuff. You know, there are some Christians who feel that you once saved, always saved. Others feel that you have to persevere. You know, you've got dunkers on one hand and sprinklers on the other hand. You've got those who worship in the liturgy and those who kind of swing from the chandeliers. You know, you've got those who are teetotalers and those who feel like, hey. You know, it's okay to have a beer with a hot dog once in a while, you know. And you see, it's okay to have an opinion about these sorts of things. In fact, I think you probably ought to have an opinion. But when that opinion becomes part and parcel of the gospel, then people are able to reject the gospel on a basis that doesn't even have anything to do with it. And um, that, that irritates me. It irritates me to see these guys, you know, burning books and trying to pull Huck Finn out of the library and getting into these big arguments about rock and roll music and you know i mean I, I would hate for some unbeliever to not become a christian because he's convinced that god votes republican you know <laughs> so and when you know there are times when i feel you know kind of you know militant about it and i think okay bennett you got a big mouth you got an opinion go ahead say what you think ought to be said there are other times when i just like want to pull the curtains closed and unplug the phone and just, you know, be with the Lord. You know, my attitude is kind of like, Lord, you're okay. It's just all these people that you insist on hanging around with. And, uh, so this is a song about that. It's called Madness Dancing. Out. I tried to be sober, I tried to be logical, but I could not stop my feet. Though I have not turned off my mind, I do this evil all around. For now it's outside, and I'm in my room. Joy is like a crashing tide. So long, I gave hungry knees. Cause no one will miss me. We're having an hour at least. Song came this morning and woke me. As I listened, then I found that I was not alone. I was standing, moving. Burn no book. 
Yeah.